<laughs> he runs crazy. Rebellion. <clears throat> this looks intriguing. Rebellion. This dude over here. I beseech you for some assistance. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Uh, sure. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. Yo, appreciate you, big ago, dog. My Thank you so much. How are you doing today? Himself quite the astronomer. Set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. Oh. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with Didn't the Didn't they say there was a giant squid in the if lake or something like that? Retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Uh... You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. Okay. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Okay. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. What is an astrolabe? I do hope you find the astrolabe. Oh, it would mean so it. much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Oh, I can dive. Huh? Yeah, I'm doing that at 10. You're crazy. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Oh, dark arts coat. Nice. A whimsical nightcap. Huh.
I'm not fucking with that key. Nice. I found the astrolabe. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? Mm, yeah, it sounds like she got did, some money. But it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. Oh, she respects a reward, it. so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things. Yo, Raph, Raphael, I appreciate you, you. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Did she give me any money? Revelio. This far. Yes, you got up there. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Oh, my goodness. And the bubbly. I hope to see you again sometime. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. Is this game you worth buying? Asking. Absolutely. Well, looking for you. Especially if you're a Harry Potter fan. Definitely got to get this game. Um, I can't I've never say. met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, <sighs> you are clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my Yo, mother and I left my I am not going Appreciate to sit by you. and Thank watch you so much. destroy my new home.
Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Oh, sure, we're actually pulling up on something. What's going on here? A woman that needs help. <laughs> they must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid Oh, dang. She's got hands. Stop it. Get out of here. Uh oh. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. She got wands, nigga. Damn, bro. She got hands. Damn, he just exploded that fool. Damn. Stop it. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Lumos. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch Bro, me she was to ready. to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in man. Mm. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. See, why, shop in why are people Island? hating on this game? She's like, they clearly, like, Here's tried to make a game for everybody, it seems like. That's You're good. Cool for her. Nor Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and yes, the Merlin Tales about the real cool were myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to oh. Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Bro, a game for everybody, but every haters are screwed up individuals. Bro, it's like the people who hate on it are more hate filled than the people that they're claiming hate on them. You know, it's it's 
it's crazy. I think people should just enjoy the game, take a chill pill, and get off the internet. <clears throat> For his fellow Slytherins. How fascinating. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Mm. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. What the hell is Mallow Suite? This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Face it. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, like apple the soda. vines on these pillars here. You got this five well, minutes, so if you want to join the giveaway, you got to make sure you're subscribed, and that's it. Right now, we got Crooks, and we got Sand Quad. So that's 50 50 odds right now. It's pretty good odds for y'all. Oh. Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. The flames make the pyre sink. Is Merlin's beard like motherfucker? Or what does that mean? I take it How do I know I, success? I saw it. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit. Which you can Yeah, we got three minutes, y'all. Three minutes. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do we care Any they you? them's come no, bully you yet? Nah. To the safety of my notes and they know better. Yeah, no, Tizzle, don't play that shit. Damn, I just ran off on a little girl. That's bonkers. Bro, what happened to old girl? She just talked to me and dipped. I'm ready for some to pop up in my chat. <laughs> Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Feek. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Nah, I don't want I don't want no problems. If you don't know it, you'll see it. He's but I think everybody should just take a chill pill. Is everything all right? 
Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. She's like, I make Best time. Elsewhere for wares. Who said that? Sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Is there a curfew? Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Earlier in the game. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. Dang, they robbed old boy. Mm-hmm. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock huh? is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock You can write all their name in there like follow him, but he was wrong. three, four more Many times each, like so there's more in the there, Discord and the odds are different. But make sure it's even. Has to be even. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in huh? metal or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my life, yeah. who knows when I'll be able to paint again. They got my dog. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. I gotta go to sleep. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Damn, they got goblin camps and shit. Who is it? Who are these? What are these? Shame, you're so foul. This must be it. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. I shouldn't have got up in there. Ooh. 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 Ooh.
Ooh. It's gonna make me send out this cabbage. See, yeah, he can't dodge the red ones. That was meant for me. Cart. If you're here for my wares, on. I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I, to, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing. See, they're good, good goblins. Oh, thank you. For Even though he looks wrong. like a demon, there's no I trouble. To free your carts so easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. Hey, he's got a, he's got That's a painting. Nice idea, Ron. He's got a big luck with it. I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you Yo, done. Dre, what's up, man? Appreciate you for stopping by. <coughs> How's the game, big dog? Do you love it? Because I sure as hell do. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Bro, this game's amazing. House health may have a clue for the mystery. Bro. You're like, I'm gonna let the hype die down. I'm like, brah, man, fuck the hype. This game is gas. Handy resource indeed. How far are you? Have you made your wand yet? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. <coughs> Damn. Fire spell? Yeah, uh, in incendio. incendio? Yes, sir. How do you like the combat? How's the combat so far? It's tough. What the hell is this? Bro, yes, the psh, psh. bro, it's fire. Rebellion. It was worth the wait. Oh. All right, Mr. Crooks, I'm sending that to you right now. I'll be more with the energy. Bet. Bet, Crooks, I just sent it to you. Let me know. That should be enough for the 
Digital Deluxe Edition. Bro, oh, yeah. <clears throat> they did a great job. <clears throat> this is... Appreciate you, big dog. Good man. Congratulations. Scrub. Tell no Who one scrub? about this. Who is Scrub? Yeah, bro. So you're not playing no more, Dre? You just stopped? Yes, sir. I just sent it out to Mr. Crooks Gaming. He has won the giveaway, man. Just done for the night. Okay, nice. Bro. I am addicted to this game, like, is he a subscriber? Um, he is, I don't know if he's a, I don't think he's a subscriber, but he gifts subs. So that is also a way to enter in the giveaway, is if you gifted subs. I mean, he gifts subs all the time, so I mean, it's only right for him to be in the giveaway. Rebellion. Oh, what is that? Is there sure that you know they're right there. Get that note. Bro, they don't want me to have that. Rebellion. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh. <clears throat> I'm so confused. Bro, I can see the note. It's over here. Okay, duh. Ah, I think I know just the place. What's your favorite part of the game so far? Rebellion. Exploring the big ass map, bro, for real. The young Slytherin must be exceptionally curious by now. Meet Scroll by the water's edge by the broken dock. Down to oh the shit, water's we're edge. gonna get to meet Mr. Scroll. This had better not be a trick. Bro, oh, I can't wait to get the broom.
see a Quidditch DLC, bro. They have so much they can do. They do Quidditch, Tri Wizard Tournament. Thank you for coming all this way. <coughs> Multiplayer. The Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found. <coughs> in Scrope is Scrope a... More in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Undermining the headmaster and getting something in return. Continue. Bro, somebody needs to make a Hogwarts RP server. In fact, Scrope like... wants to surprise him. Scrope's <coughs> mistress, Apollonia Black, <coughs> rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. I mean, yeah, I mean, she it is perfect. Yet, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for oh, the Multiplayer would still be hell of Scrope fun. tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured <coughs> ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. Okay. How did you know that I'd found a book <coughs> and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Tell me more about this treasured ring. It's adorned with the Black Family Crest. The Headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. Damn. That's it fucked seems this up. May help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. And place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck. Thank you, Scrope. Practice. And the ring. What is that? Oh, scary as hell. So what you're saying is I need to leave them alone. Damn. I should have just gone ahead and let them alone. I suppose that's where it goes.
could it be? A visitor? Oh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Oh my goodness. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I must insist that you give them to me at once. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happened next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. Oh, I don't mean to that They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, lightheaded. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. A map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, 
Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. <laughs> he gone. I get the green the racks. I get the I get the green the racks. The racks. I get the green the racks. I get the I get the green the racks. The racks. She says she know I'm going. She know I'm up next. She know how to act. Know I was the man from the first day I spat. I make all the money. I make all the slaps. I handle my business and that is no cap. Came in this world with no clothes in my back. Look in my pockets. You know that they fat. If you looking for bitches, you know where they at. I be chasing this money. I gotta get that. Just really a youngin that gets to the bag. Sunny these niggas like I am they 